bits of weird matchup where I've seen sometimes TA dominate the lane because Stan King isn't able to get like the caustic hits early and, on and ooh, get such them. low armor. Yeah, on but then King. and they've got to be quick with the reactions and step. He's got to be big on the staves. Yeah, even BZM if he gets caught, he's dead. Like he's not that tanky of a Stan King. We'll find the catch. Not this game. First blood with the epicenter in nine and a half minutes. Kill. Must have been like looking somewhere else for a second, and then as soon as he saw, he's like, "Oh god!" So you're all a bit lucky to get away with that one there. Top Seb. He might not be so lucky. Ooh, he's gonna go straight for the TP out. And of course, Joe Patch. He'll have something to say about that one. Jumps in. Takes him. As game yeah, progresses. I think yeah, Ricky and TA. Yeah. Become some absolute beast down the line. They get to jump in onto a mark. Also able to take out his courier there. I think with a stray side blade. So these Almost evasive moves here from Boo. They're gonna go on BZM right away. The spear, it looks a little awkward, but it'll still connect even though the Burrow goes out. He's still alive. Golden Brace will buy him some time. Well, it looks like it'll be enough to allow them to step back. They'll turn with the Winter's Curse, locking down the two supports into the boat combo. Tims is able to force out to the side. Scam pops the Fairy Fire, he'll try and run. He will get taken out. Jump over from BZM, also able to catch Tims there on his attempt to retreat. They did lose Amar. And a one for two there. OG able to fight back, but the fight, it's not over yet. Jackie sees an opportunity to jump straight back in onto Tiger. They'll end it two for two. OG being the team that loses a core out of it. Really good Lotus That's game. Great. I mean, they just sort of what slam that down on the Ricky or the TA. They can mm -hmm. commit in and they don't have to worry about that static link. Static links, stuns a plenty, Wyvern curse, etc. So many. Oh, got the smoke screen down. Great silence into the, the arena, forcing them to have to use the BKBs. Tiger gets protected just in time by the cold embrace. They're in with the link of the curse. They've locked down Yo Page. See if they can finish him off. Epicenter from BZM comes in turn as well. They jump over. This time, OG, they'll be able to get a good hit at the start of the fight. Buyback comes in from Tiger. Amar, fully focused. Jackie jumps in with another blink, takes out a second. They've got the control on FBZ. He'll try and push them back with the shield, the, the rebuke, but he still falls. OG, can they catch Yopage here a second time? Please. Mel dispels now for Yopage. Scam. Get caught out by that vision. They'll jump in. Scam. He's going to get the chance to get the ult off. They weren't able to commit on him completely, Scam. He steps out of the fight. He's going to live. The arena gets dropped down. BZM pops the BKB, tries to run him in the epicenter, but now he himself has to back off. Then with a the sleep dart onto Amar. Cold Embrace will protect him for now. He does still have his BKB if he wants to get out of this one. He's going to pop the BKB, try and turn a command onto Yopaj. The static link is building up the damage. Yopaj is getting low, but Jackie is in to back him off. There's the jump in onto Yopaj. They're trying to finish up this TA. They have the stun control. They'll take him down. But Amar goes down on the side of OG. Jackie also Cleaning able to up. pick up BZM, jumps over towards Seb. The smoke screen controlling him. As boom, they're cleaning the fight up, and OG, once they've lost a fair few, you know, go to the first three heroes, the rest of them, they've got nothing else to present. Yuragi, for all the farm that he has on his own as a carry Kunka, he just doesn't have anything to be able to trade back with Boom. As Boom take down four. Very disciplined game from Boom. Oh, Amar. Oh, we're going to be off the mark with a spear. So Amar. We'll have a chance here. Lotus was off in time. So the static link not doing anything at all. So them jump for. They don't think we're able to get in with the sleep dart. They want to go to the high ground. They're going to jump for him. Cold Embrace is out, protecting him for now. But as it comes to an end, they'll lose Amar. They'll turn with the curse on Jackie, but he's easily able to jump away. As Amar taken out. He oh, oh BZM. Well, I mean, FBZ's ready to. He's ready to take this fight here. Put the sleep on BZM. BZM. A turn with the BKB, they get the boat crashing down onto FPZ, but FPZ's got his own BKB ready to go. The overgrowth holds BZM in position. The cold embrace again from Seb, trying to buy some safety for BZM, but Jackie jumps in, takes him out. OG, they've got to get back to base. They've got no fight to be had here against Boom. Yeah. Jackie. He's got the setup onto a mark. Every time. Buys time for FPZ to get in with the spear pushback. Seb, again with a cold embrace, slowing down. Could potentially just be the inevitable. Okay, he's got the BKB back up. Amar, he'll be able to walk away, but over to the side, the support struggling. Step, he's taken out. Tiger, he's trying to run. They've got another slow on him, but he's out with the invis. He'll live. Buyback comes out from Seb. They're, they're all starting to get pretty close to 25. FBZ is 24. Jackie somehow is the one who's actually behind on the Ricky. He's 22, even though he's been super active. I mean, OG, they're coming in with the buyback from Tiger. They know they cannot let Boom get this Roshan. FBZ tries with a jump. He's going to get the arena down onto the boat for Mar and Yuragi. The boat comes off. Jackie getting burst a little low, but with the tricks of the trade, he dodges the, the slam down from the boat. 
Kuragi. Also Xing himself because of that Lotus. There's the jump, but the Lotus was out in time, so... EZM ends up stunning himself. They do have the further lockdown onto the TA, but they're forced out to the side. Joe Patch, he's able to slide away from OG. See OG still trying to commit in onto FBZ. Yuragi, no turn over towards Kian, but the overgrowth, he's got it ready. Jump forward from Jackie onto Tiger. Both supports of OG taken out. Oh, the spear. As Jackie, he'll keep committing in with the tricks of the trade. BKB has been held onto here by Yuragi, so he's now got it ready to go. And Ma, he'll up for the BKB TP out. OG, they're just trying to cut their losses and get out of there. As they'll get out with the two cores, but everybody else taken out as Boom pick up three more kills. They're going in. Yeah, he's ready to go. Arena's out. Cold Embrace buys some safety here for Amar. See if they can still commit in onto him. He'll turn with the Static Link, but the physical coming out for the two of them. He's got a BKP and run. Amar will keep the Static Link going a little more, but see Yo Patch ready to force <laughs> in. Ooh, okay, he's able to dodge it. Manta will keep Amar alive, but it's three dead. They're on with the push. With only two heroes alive, nothing really the OG can do to slow down this siege from Boom. The bottom racks, it's gone. Mid racks as well will be taken. No hesitation, right? They're like, Sanking's dead. They have no way to make any plays. They just jump in and force that fight. I'm watching poor Taiga, like mana burning heroes, and then Tim's just chakras them back to full mana instantly right afterwards. Nyx Assassin, Taiga not having the game that I think he would have liked to this time around. I think OG. They'll have maybe one more fight in them. Very likely to be the last. They have the nullifier done on Yuragi. See what sort of a difference that makes. It's the spear. And we'll catch them already on the back lines. BZM is hunting very deep to try and find Scam. Scam's able to walk it off. FBZ commits him with a BKB and the arena. Locking down Amar. As Amar, he's going to need some help. Is there anything they can do to save him? BZM comes back up with a two-man burst strike. They have caught Yuragi, but Yuragi's able to get the refraction back off. They take down Amar. As Yo Patch, he's just jumping in on as low HP as he is. They know, he knows they can't kill him. GG is called. Boom. This game won very well and securely theirs. They come in with this last pick, Ricky. It, it just fits the style that Boom want to play. Hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Relax. Whoa. You can blink out the link. You can blow up the ring. What if you have blinks in first? I, I know well, then people, you're a bad PA. <laughs> people these days. So still, Storm. Winning this matchup, but seeing that people are willing to pick the Ember a little bit more versus it. Yo, Paj, level 2 Flame Guard, he's got his bottle. He can run this down a bit. He's gotta be careful. Ooh, okay, he can't. <laughs> I thought he could. He thought he could. Uh, he couldn't. That's uh, Yo, Paj going down in the mid. <laughs> Don't think he's gonna deviate from that too much. Interesting, Yuragi with the Bassy. Look at that. Making sure that him and Seb always have mana to spam. Spectral okay. Dagger is very expensive. I'll see Seb in trouble here. Get speared underneath the tower. He'll go down. Bottom lane is fun. They're just, I mean, the Bassy is just allowing them to spam back so much more. And with the wands also built up so early. Because it's a Shaman in a Mars lane, so it's constant spam. Shakira Spectre to get tons of mana back. Oh, Yuragi. he's going in for Yopaj. BZM, he's going to have him. Another kill here on that mid matchup. Whoa. Two times now, BZM taking down Yopaj solo. Hi. Maybe because the Ember, maybe because he thinks that Yopaj was struggling a little bit. I, I'm always curious. I always want to talk to FBZ, but a couple of these offlaners when they prioritize these type of items. Gonna try and go for Jackie. Jackie. Yuragi's coming in with a haunt. They're in on top of the PA. Jackie jumps over to the side towards Yopaj. And the arena down from FBZ. He's been able to catch both Tiger and Seb. The supports for OG will fall, and Jackie, he won't die. He's able to walk away. OG not quite having enough damage to bring down that PA with that aggressive move. This time, Boot. Oh, gonna have a TP coming in from Seb. Gonna try and take out FBC. He's gonna miss the spear. Ice Puff and Macropire down. A huge amount of damage now coming out for the Jakiro as FBC caught in the ultimate. He will fall. We'll see Opaj. Let me see if they can set something up in return. They'll step over. Dagger slow onto Tiger allows them to take out the clock. Mars in, but the remnants are ready for Yopaj to create the distance between them. The dagger slowing down Amar. Big zip across from BZM as he's in on top of the bane. Up he'll miss it, causing some issues, but he's got enough to jump in. Still finish off the kill. Great fight from OG. They just brought all the numbers, and now Yopaj should be okay. He's low on the mana, BZM. Rune spawning to DD. I know that that Battle Fury is done, and that this is the area that Jackie wants to be farming, and they're just not letting him have any of it. Boom knows, though. Boom is reacting the right way, just bringing even more numbers. Tiger. Going on FBZ, the, the Ice Path and the Macropire straight down onto FBZ as he's caught in the cogs and the burn of the Macropire. 
He should go down. A Nightmare buys him a bit of time, but he still falls. Jump onto the back lines. They take down Tim. BZM. Tim's going to buy back immediately. Yo, Patch. Flame Guard has come to an end. BZM is incredibly low. Let's see if Yo, Patch can find him. He's trying to get in range of the slight of this. He's going to hit onto BZM, but it isn't quite enough damage to finish him off. He turns attention over towards Seb instead. Another Ice Path comes down, trapping Tim's. Tim's will turn and hold back the Spectre with a Shackle, but he's dying to the eye of the storm from Amar. Zoji, they'll succeed in getting into this triangle. Yeah, it's really down to Tiger, as you say. Just getting in, holding him in the cogs. Yeah. Macropire follow up from Seb. These two supports, regardless of how much HP FBC has, they're killing him every single team fight. Back in action, Tiger. He has been found out on his own. But it's five heroes in the area to bring him down. Well, four to bring him down. The fifth one just close. It's right around Roche, though. Serpent Wards are available. Boom was thinking about it. Oh? Well, maybe finding a big hatch, though. He has BKB. Uh, grip's not up for a couple of seconds. That's the Hex. They keep him locked down. They can't. Amar's able to put the BKB in. Now OG, they'll be ready to fight this. As Tim's and FBZ taken down. The rest of Boom having to run. BZM's in with the chase on a Yopaj. Yopaj is going for the TP out, but the Vortex is back up. As Amar gets another scam, he'll manage to TP out inside of the pit. But with the three kills that OG pick up, it'll be their chance to move into the Roshan pit. Unsure if it would have won them the fight, but they maybe at least get the kill on the Razor, like we're mentioning. And now, Hunt back up. Now, Yoragi's ready to go. He's trying to get in onto Tim's FBZ. We'll be able to hold him back with the arena. See, BZM, he's ready to full commit. Gets caught out by the Hex, but he has, of course, got the Aegis. So even if he goes down, he's going to be ready for a second round. Tiger in for the side with the hook shot over towards Tim's. Beans grip from Scam, holding back Amar, but Amar is able to get out, get that BKB off. Turns over towards Jackie with the link. Jackie trying to jump to safety, but the link persists as Amar stays on top of the PA. Jackie goes down. As they're really struggling with the fights at this point, boom. They need time and space for the PA. They're just not quite ready to fight 5-on-5 five five this game at this moment. OG just keeps running at them. They're not giving oh. them any time to reset as BZM slept up. Nah, he's going to be fine. It's going to be okay. Scam going down. Yuragi sweeps across, gets another BZM ready to dive in deep. Tim's turns with the Hex to the Shackle. They will be able to take him out. In fact, okay, he's dead, but ultimately it's still just it's another cleanup for OG. Yep. At this point now, with the fact that Yuragi's surviving, picking up the kills, BZM does not mind giving his life for that. Yeah, he's got his BKB though. Look at the wars, Tiger, but Tiger. Tiger looking towards them. He turns, goes in straight away onto FBZ. FBZ drops the arena down, but they're both dead almost immediately. We'll see Jackie has to put the BKB to survive here under his tier 2 tower. As they'll look to run him down, he's up to the high ground. Hex is there to punish BZM on his aggressive dive. Jump across for Yopaj. He has the chance to follow up, but they got the damage to bring down BZM. They do. As BZM will fall, OG, they found themselves inside of Boom's <laughs> base. They're kind of getting away with it as they take down a third kill. Amar now godlike. Tiger, incredibly low. One more round of a dagger or a slider fish should get him. There's the crit on the dagger. will take him down. Now, OG, they're probably going to think about backing out of the base now. Seb having a bit of a smile on him there. As uh, a rather deep position that OG get themselves into. But once again... They're yep. smoked. Booms. I think Boom is starting to feel a bit strong. That's okay. those 100 gold off. Boom comes out immediately here. They're in onto FBC. He got the arena off. He's able to put the BKB, but he won't, of course, be able to survive shortly throughout this physical damage. He goes down over to the side. BZM was able to take down the Bane. He's going to look towards Yopaj now, but the BKB off there straight away. It's too much chaos for Boom to deal with. I mean, Tim's he's dropped the Serpents. He's managed to trap Tiger, but Tiger's out with the jetpack. Ice Path, Macropire down underneath the tier two. Yopaj, he's in trouble. He tries to get a remnant out, but the slows are too much. Zoji, run him over, Tim's. He's going to look for the TP out. They've got ways to stop it. Ooh. They don't. Tim's lives. And Jackie, also still alive, didn't yet have to use the BKB in this fight. Amar, very oh. close towards him, though. Oh. Uh oh. Jackie's Jackie. Got Oh, BKB ready to pop. He can look to take some kills here with him. He can get Tiger, but can he get out? He's got Skem by his side, jumps across, but Yuragi ready to chase him down with the dagger slot. They need help. They need an out Tim's. He heads over, gives another chance here for Jackie to jump to safety. Now Tim's may be looking to re-engage. Answer popped. The illusions will be forced over towards him. Holding back the Shaman and his chance to get in, get back in with the grab. The hunt stops everything, right? The hunt like, kind of puts all of them in a little bit of panic and disarray. FBZ gets isolated. I mean, Amar destroys stepping them. In up. They're, they're stepping up on this. They're going to keep trying. Okay. I mean, this is a very tough fight. They do have Desto, Desto on the PA. Now, it's okay. a lot of damage. BKB in the arena popped down from FBZ. Controls Seb. 
and Yuragi for now, but Yuragi turns towards him with the illusions. FBC's got to run. Amar pots the BKB, but FBC's BKB comes to an end. BZM zips across, catches Skem. So turns for more show patch, but this time he has the remnant at the ready. He's going to need another soon. As BZM's chasing the chains, holding back. BKB's back up from Yopatch. Amar steps over towards Jackie. Jackie looks to jump over towards Tims. They hold back the Razor with the Hex, but Tims, he'll get left behind. Jackie and Yopatch are the only two left alive. Tiger's going in deep. He's going to dive in underneath the tier 4 tower. It's going to work. As Yopatch is down, Jackie, the last one left alive. As once again, OG diving in deep, getting these kills. So the frequency of kind of like these haunts is just going to keep happening. I think it's just going to get harder and harder for these poor supports on Blue. Tiger. He's going to look to get the jump in onto Tims. Yuragi's ready to head over and help out. But Tims is able to target the spells off. We'll allow them to trade and take out Tiger in return. You see them diving in deep once again. They're up into the base. They'll take out a second support, finding Skem. Two fights going on. I mean, FBZ's trying to make it back to base, but OG, they're sort of hanging around his own base. They, they stay around it. Jump forward here from Jackie, but he's having to use the BKB to run. As Amar, he's just charging them down past the barracks. A buyback will come out from Tims, but they've lost FBZ. Lotus thrown out onto BZM, keeping him safe as Tims. The Tim. back for this one. BZM turns, takes him down a second time. Jackie jumps over towards Jopaj. Another buyback comes out. OG, they are continuing to dive very aggressively under the tier fours. It will cost them Amar's life. Yuragi getting low. Jackie jumps over towards Seb. Jackie is able to get another kill out of this one. They have to sleep set up onto the Spectre. As Yuragi, can he escape this? Ooh. He's going to miss the spear. He still goes down the once. See if they can take him out a second time. FBZ moving into position. They've got the grip as well. See if they can offer the damage there. In with the break. Jump forward with the remnants. Yuragi in trouble. He'll turn with the dagger. Pops the Mantis He's still alive. No way. He's actually going to get away. They couldn't quite kill him. Yuragi will live. And now BZM is ready to look to clean things up. As FBZ trapped in the cogs. Tiger will continue to play around with him. Jack, Jackie's going to jump back in. Look to get the kill on Tiger. Okay, he does get it. Jack, BKB's back up in five seconds. Jackie's going to be fine. In fact, he he's might go, go back, back in. But Yuragi, okay, Yuragi, he's going to actually be able to oh. finish him there. Oh my, both of the spears from FBZ don't hit the Spectre, and that, let's see what they get. They're going to find Tiger, we'll find uh, there's the horn out immediately, Tims and Skem, they've got to be the ones to back off, zip forward, but Tims is able to get the Hex off, onto BZM, doesn't matter, BZM's still able to pop the BKB, Yopaj, he's got to be ready to jump out himself, he's got the remnant at the ready, Yuragi's going to look to chase him down, Yopaj needs help, he holds back the Spectre with the chains, FBZ tries to control them with the arena, but BZM zips in, straight on a Yopaj, brings down the Ember, FBZ also to fall. Perfect fight, everyone went for the right target, BZM jumps the Bane, Amar junks the PA, has a full link on him, forces BKB, PA can't fight, literally perfect identification from OG, from which time. BZM. Here we go. In with the zip. He's able to get the two of them here with the vortex. Grabs Kem and gets taken out. Turns out over towards Yopatch. Remnants at the ready. Yopatch pokes back with the steering chains. FBZ pushes back Tiger with the spear. Juragi's in with the horn. Onto FBZ. FBZ pops the BKB. Does get the arena off. They are caught underneath the tier fours. FBZ, he'll try and live. But BZM in again with another vortex. Takes him down. The Mars will fall. Amar linking in onto Jackie. Jackie turns with the dagger. Has to jump up towards the fountain. As OG bullying Boom. Back to the fountain at this stage. Getting to the, close to the point where they've had enough fun here and they're ready to close up the game. As the two towers taken out in the mid, the Ancient exposed up towards the fountain, still continue to play around with Jackie. Yuragi, he's ready to try and finish it. Yopaj caught in the ice bath, he gets taken out. Boom, dying in the fountain, no more GG. defense to be had here as GG is called OG. We'll be able to punch back in game two. Yeah. Time.